All right, all right, all right. How y'all doing, my brothers and sisters in Christ? I speak peace, shalom, hallelujah. Um, before we uh get into the word of God, um, there's some things that I want to say that um I've been going through for the last uh, couple of days. Um, I've been um not backsliding out there, but I've been, you know, uh, I've been kind of all of God's word a little bit. Um, I've been um falling into a lot of lust. Um, I've been sleeping with a mind full of lust, which was nothing from the, you know, which is, you know, which, which comes from the enemy. Um, cause you know, the Bible says that the enemy hinders us. Um, and then it also, the Bible also says giving a place to the devil. And, um, that's what I've been doing and not knowing it. Um, that's why I haven't been lately really reading my word until about, hmm, about the, I say about, See, today's Tuesday. So today's Tuesday. Okay, it's Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, so it was Sunday. So uh, I say at the end of the night on Sunday, I went to sleep. And or no, uh, matter of fact, I think I was at church. I think I was at church. I was sitting up on the balcony part, you know, up or, or you know, over the you know, over the congregation that people that the rest of the people down there watching preachers preach. And I was uh, I was on top of the balcony with the rest of the people that was sitting up there. And as I'm listening to Apostle John Eckhart, you know, preaching about the, you know, preaching about might and strength, and, you know, and I would see this, this quick vision, right? It, was, it wasn't no long vision, but it was, it was like a quick vision, like, it was like, boom, boom, and then disappear. It's like, I saw the word victory. I saw the word victory. Now, that word popped up in my spirit, that word victory. Now, I wasn't even thinking about the word, you know, I wasn't even, I wasn't even coming in contact with the word victory, because I, you know, I wasn't even thinking about the word victory at all, until I was just praising, I was just like, clapping my hands, just, you know, when Pastor Jack I started preaching and stuff, and all of a sudden, this word just, bam, popped up, just victory, and then that's when I, it, it you know, that, that's when the Lord was letting me know that in his word, it has the word victory in it, okay, and uh, I had, kind of like came home after that Sunday and I still was in lust and stuff like that. And, um, until today, uh, I got up this morning, um, for the, you know, for the lust that I committed, I got up this morning. I asked the Lord to forgive me for what I did. It's a long story. I don't know. But I mean, it's a long story. I mean, it's lust. I mean, I was looking on my phone, looking at girls and stuff, lusting at them and stuff like that. Just something that wasn't about God, you know? Um, and then I carry my Bible around the house with me, one, open it up to read, to, you know, to, uh, read about what God wanted me to read about, you know, about the world, about victory. And, uh, the word victory is all over the Bible. And, um, I didn't get, I didn't get all over the Bible, you know, you know, to, you know, search for the word victory, but I had went to some scriptures and there's this one particular scripture that I like and if you have your Bibles, please turn to me, precious beloved. Please turn to me to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, please turn to me to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Glory, hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord. And before we get started, we're going to go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray for the people that is watching this, Lord God, I pray for the people that, that's going to watch this video, Lord God, I pray that this scripture will touch those, Lord God, who are feeling, um, who are, who are backsliding, who are, um, who don't have your presence with them, Lord God, I ask, Lord, that you will lead and guide them by your Holy Spirit, Lord God, I ask, Father, that even this word, that, that even your word, your scripture that we're about to read, Lord God, I pray that this word will encourage those who have fallen away, those who have been dried up in the desert, those who still seeking to seek your face, Lord God, but they don't have victory over the enemy. So, Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will bless us with this word, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So, anyway, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. And it says, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory. Hallelujah. I'm going to read that again. It says, But thanks be to God, thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to stop right there. And that's one verse. Okay. Then let's go up to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. 
Watch, stand fast in the faith. Be brave, be strong. Let all that you do be done with love. So when we feel as though that we are slipping off away from the presence of God, it's always good for us to count it all joy and temptation. It's good to um it's good to it's good to come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's good to still, you know, to contain you know, to retain victory over the enemy. You know, cause the word of you know, cause the word of God tells us that the devil comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Okay. So whenever the so whenever the enemy takes something from you, whenever he takes something from you, you have the victory to get it back. Okay. Same thing like in the book of Joshua. God spoke to Joshua and told him that the enemy cannot stand against you because Joshua had victory. The Lord was with Joshua. Every step of the way he went, he was with Joshua. Okay. And the same thing like today, he is with us now. The Bible says he is, um, the Bible said that um, he's the same God as yesterday, today, and forever, okay? So he's an unchanging God. His love lasts forever. His love is an unconditional love, okay? So um, just hanging up, anybody um, that's falling away, please um, continue to stay humble. Don't think that God left you because God did not leave you. God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So just have faith. Just continue to walk with God, continue to um, go with Christ. The Bible said, Paul said that I strive for to the prize that's in front of me, not behind me. So any sin that you commit, I mean, any sin that you did, you know, confess it to the Lord and the Lord will forgive you of your sins. First John 1, 9 tells us that. Okay. And just like right here in first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. So I want to um, read that. And pray to the Lord Jesus Christ so He can give y'all victory, so y'all can so y'all can retain what was what was stolen from y'all, so y'all can get it back in Jesus' mighty name. I love y'all, my brothers and sisters in Christ.